Hi, I'm going to magically clone myself two times and now let's close all these three doors. Don't worry, this is not a magic trick. Can you see the difference here? With this glass door in front of me, you can clearly see me. But with this frosted glass door in front, you can't see me clearly, right? And with this wooden door in front of me, you can't see me at all. What's the difference between these doors? It's the material of the door. The materials that allow light to pass through are called transparent, like this door. The ones that allow light to partially pass through are called translucent, like this door here. And the ones that do not allow light to pass through at all are called opaque, like this wooden door. Transparent materials allow all the light to pass through. That's the ideal case. Practically, transparent materials allow most of the light to pass through and only a small percentage of the light is absorbed or reflected. Examples of transparent materials are glass, water and air. Translucent materials are materials that allow light to partially pass through. The remaining light is either reflected or absorbed by the material. What are some examples of translucent materials? Can you tell me? That's right. They are frosted glass, butter paper, sunglasses, muddy water and clouds. These are all examples of translucent materials. A material is said to be opaque if it does not allow any light to pass through. It completely blocks the light. Light is absorbed and reflected by the material. Examples of opaque materials are bricks, wood, many objects that you see around you. Even you and I, humans, we are opaque because light cannot pass through us. Which type of materials will create a shadow when light is incident on it? Is it transparent, translucent or opaque? What do you think? That's right. Opaque objects will definitely create shadows since they block the light. Translucent materials will also create a shadow since they partially block the light. But transparent materials, they do not create any shadow because they allow all the light to pass through. So hope the concept of transparent, translucent and opaque materials is crystal clear to you now.